Good morning, afternoon, and evening racing fans, wherever you are. Um, we're here today on F1 2021 at the Spa Racetrack. This is after that iconic uh, F1 uh, race in real life at uh, Spa, which is going to go down in history as probably one of the most disappointing races for anyone who bought tickets, but also probably one of the best races for anyone who's a George Russell fan or a Williams fan. Alright, so today I thought I'd take you along my F1 journey and show you some laps as I try to get faster at this uh, wonderfully uh, challenging circuit. Um, yeah, I'm by no means an expert so at this far, game. Our uh, first lap is a 1 minute 43. It's still turned on. And I apologize in advance if I get any of the corner of games wrong. Uh, I'm still a pretty big new uh, at this. Um, Alright, now that I have all the excuses out of the way, uh, we're gonna take a, uh, we're gonna try to take you around the lap. Um, this is uh, the first lap, and the first thing we're gonna try to do is to see if we can set some sort of a banker lap on a default setup. This is less about the overall lap time and more about getting to know the limits of the track as it go a little wide there and uh, yeah just uh, learn where the invalidations are going to be coming from I can already see that uh, turn 9 is probably going to be an issue um, yeah um, we're heading on into Puan um, you're probably going to see throughout this video I'm going to struggle on this uh, corner as well heading into the end of uh, Sector 2 in the campus uh, corner and uh, Stavlo. Stavlo I actually end up uh, getting right by the end of the video, or at least close to, um, as close to it as I possibly can. Um, the back straight uh, into Sector 3 is usually, it's usually, uh, well, actually always a flat out corner. Uh, the only way you can really get it wrong is if you uh, end up onto the grass. Um, we're going to head on into the bus stop chicane and uh, right around the last turn, turn 20, and this is going to come in at 143.5. Okay, the time last lap was at 143.5. Um, yeah, I'm actually not sure if we're going to follow through on this lap or not. Let's just keep watching it here. Our exit out of uh, the Lasaurus hairpin is going to be uh, up and down pretty much throughout the entire lap, so I think I really struggled on getting that uh, nailed in. But Eau Rouge we can take pretty much flat out. Um, this lap where you can see we're about uh, 7 one hundredths up on our time, and we get on the inside curve and hit it immediately. Fast forward a few uh, uh, days, we're now on the Mercedes, and I think we have a uh, racing setup uh, on this time as well and uh, we're going to see if we can improve on our time um, by being in a faster Mercedes even though we're on equal performance. So coming out of the bus stop chicane onto the start finish straight we get a pretty good exit out of turn one um, or out of the last turn. Oh, the Lasaurus hairpin is still going to be something we're going to struggle with but we're up on our delta which is good. And heading on into Eau Rouge, we were able to take this flat out on the default setup, and I think we're going to pretty much take it flat out every single time uh, throughout this uh, video. Uh, getting back onto the Camel Straight, uh, we're still three tenths up on our time, so we were able to hold it. Heading on into Lake Home, um, pretty good into turn eight, uh, turn nine, we get a little bit squirrely, but we're still able to gain time on our Delta. Um, this turn 10 section, I think, uh, is also going to be a, a, a struggling uh, corner that I'm going to struggle with throughout the entire video. Um, heading on into Puan, we're not exactly taking it flat out. We had to shift back down into 7 and then come back up to 8, but we're 3 tenths up on our time as we went into uh, campus and stop low. Um, Stavlo, I think you can take it in fifth gear, um, but uh, over here I did shift down into fourth, but coming out of uh, uh, turn 16 uh, into Blanchemont, we're half a second up on our time, uh, which is, I think, typical if you're uh, 
uh, switching to a race setup from the default setup. I think it is something like a second improvement. Uh, heading into the bus stop chicane, uh, and to the second last corner, and the last corner we get it horribly wrong on the exit, and that delta kind of tumbles down, I think in the end, yep, three and three quarters of a second. 3.375 seconds is what our uh, improvement was. So we're at a 141.915 now, and uh, it's uh, another day, lap 18. Uh, we're gonna take another crack at it. Uh, still struggling uh, to exit um, the source properly. I think we might get it on this one, but uh, I'm not sure if we, we're probably gonna screw this up later. You can see we kind of struggle getting the power down out of the exit, so our delta tumbles from being almost a tenth up down to only six tenths up. I think all the way up onto the camel straight, we're gonna continue to lose that time a little bit. Um, yeah, that exit is so crucial. Um, as you can see, clearly, go being a tenth up down to only four hundredths up. And, uh, yeah, our exit over here is a little bit sketchy as well on out of turn 8, and we get it horribly wrong, and uh, decide to abandon that lap. And I think somewhere, if you watch other YouTube uh, content creators for F1, uh, pretty much all of them always say if you're attempting time trial times to never really restart the lap or abandon the lap if you crash. It, uh, if you if you do decide to finish the lap every time, it helps you to can, it helps you retain the rhythm of the lap and the rhythm of the track. Uh, as you can see, I clearly did not do that as we bounce off the wall over here and uh, somehow still stay pretty close to our regular times that we were doing only 600s down. Um, yeah, uh, try to continue your lap and finish all the way through. I think in future videos, I'm definitely um, coming out of turn 9 over here, we get a pretty good exit, and we're 8 tenths, almost, or 8 hundredths, almost a tenth and a half up on our time as we head into the corner with no name, and, uh, yeah, not a great exit out of there. We're still up barely a tenth, and heading into Puan, we managed to take it almost flat out, didn't have to shift down into seventh gear. I'm not even sure if you're actually supposed to. If you guys know, please let me know in the comment section uh, whether that corner should be taken in eighth gear or seventh. It looks like it should be eighth, but um, yeah, let me know. And then back into the sector three portion, which is pretty much flat out into Blanchemont, into the bus stop chicane, and let's see where we land on this lap. That was not bad. This time we decide to shift down into second, and a little bit of hesitation on the power, and in the end, a 141.8. Okay, not minute, bad, 41. not bad at all, but uh, still a long way to go. I think the time trial times are something ridiculous. Like, I think the fastest times are somewhere around a 139, which is, I don't know how they do it. Um, I think the track record currently held in real life is by Valtteri Bottas, a 141.252. We're going to come close to that time today, not necessarily beat that time. I think one day I'll try to beat it, and uh, certainly taking that line is not going to help. Um, yeah. This was, I think this was a whole other day as you can see it, but almost 27 laps in and not made much of an improvement. Um, that turn nine exit was actually not bad. I'm gonna try to replicate that in, a, in the fastest time, but I think we'll still struggle as we get into much on the inside curb and bin it and hit that go lovely restart button. Um, then onto lap 26 on the next day. Um, so at this point, I think I'd done maybe about 300 laps, but again, coming from a rookie status, this that's nothing. I think I'd, doing 300 more would not hurt. I mean, 
it would hurt physically, but it would definitely improve my lap time. This time, uh, we managed to take that corner properly flat out as well, so great to see we're up on our delta even though we're slowly losing it. Um, it's that exit out of the source, it makes such a big difference. This time we managed to take turn, six, turn 7, 8, and 9 properly, heading into turn 10, and yep, go a little bit wide. Um, and then the corner with no name, just go a little bit wide again and invalidate that lap. In terms of setup, um, I think I was using Danny Moreno's setup uh, at one point and then I tried Yano Hawkner's. Um, nowhere near as close to the lap times as they were getting, but uh, I'm, I don't know how to do a setup, so I'm going to steal from the best. And this time we get LaSource uh, bang on, but again, uh, out of that exit we really struggled to get the power down. And the Rouge is flat out, um, even though that wasn't necessarily the smoothest, it looked a little rough uh, going over those apexes. Um, but we're, we're pretty much flat to our uh, personal best at this point. We go way too deep into turn 7, 8, coming out of 9, we get a pretty good exit and we managed to get hold of it even though it got a little squirrely. Turn 10, we're pretty close to the line, again str struggled a little bit on the exit, uh, same thing with turn 10, we went a little too close to the curb, heading into Puan. Had to lift a little bit, uh, but we managed to keep it in eighth gear, and we're only down by three tenths on our time. So we're going to see if we can follow this lap through and maybe improve on our overall time. Heading into the, the final corner on turn on sector two, we're up on our delta, and we got a pretty good exit out of Stavolo, uh, and we're up just half a tenth on our time, and we're going to continue to kind of gain that. Uh, until we get to the bus stop chicane. Nope, nope, we're gonna lose it a little bit. Oh no, it's growing, it's growing. Up almost seven hundreds into the bus stop chicane, almost a tenth and a half, and we get a pretty good exit out of there, and we're up two, just a little over two and a half tenths. And we're up into the top 3,000, top 2,200. Um, I think that is going to be pretty close to our personal best uh, that we get to. This last lap is going to be the one that uh, I'm going to shut up for and let everyone just uh, enjoy the lap. And coming across the start finish line, that'll be a 141.388. Um, and that's it for today. Um, thank you so much for tuning in this far. If you uh, like the video, if you have 
uh, suggestions on what I should do for future content, please let me know in the comment section. I'll see what I can do to incorporate it, as well as any suggestions on how to improve anything uh, from my racing line, my um, race craft, um, as well as uh, any suggestions for future videos, which I think I might have already mentioned. But uh, 